Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, February the 2nd. Uh, this is a meeting of the Criminal Justice Committee. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Representatives Beck, Campbell, Here. Dixie, Doggett, Farmer, Here. Griffey, Here. Hardaway, Hawk, Howell, Here. Halsey, Here. Lamar, Lamberth, Moody, Russell, Cheryl, Here. Vice Chairman Sexton, Chairman Curcio. Here. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum. Thank you very much. Members, do we have any personal orders before we get started? Seeing none, uh, we do have a calendar before us today. Item number one, House Bill 1661 by Representative Gillespie. Sir, you have a motion and a second. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Committee and Chairman. Um, basically, what this bill does is it will create a new offense of aggravated reckless driving, which would carry a Class A uh, misdemeanor penalty with a fine and jail time. Um, this is a huge problem back in Shelby County. It's becoming a huge problem all across the country. There are people driving erratically, doing donuts, uh, about to perform drag racing on public streets. Um, unfortunately, it's only a matter of time until we start to see people dying from these activities. Um, and that basically is what this bill does. Um, and with that, I welcome any questions from the committee. Thank you, Representative Gillespie. I do, not to interrupt your presentation there, but I do see an amendment that you have filed with the committee coded 11995. That amendment rewrites the entire bill. So I just want to be, be make sure, do you wish to move that amendment or go with the bill as filed? I was, Mr. Chairman, I was under the impression that we passed that amendment in the subcommittee. We, we did, but we would have to adopt it in full as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have a motion and a second on yep. amendment coded 11995. Questions have been called on the amendment. Without objection, we're ready to vote. All those in favor of attaching amendment coded 11995 to House Bill 1661, please signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed, you adopt. <laughs> Sir, we're back on the bill as amended, and I have Leader Lamberth on my list. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And speaking of your district, it's my understanding either today or yesterday was a very special day for your district. There's something about a pet raccoon and seeing his shadow. You mentioned this on the floor, but it, not in a timely fashion. I would like an update on the situation. Carlos, uh, sorry, Carlos the raccoon, I think is the name. And I wasn't familiar with this until you mentioned on the floor, but apparently it's a big deal for you and your constituents. So I just want to know whether or not whatever animal we're talking about saw his or her shadow and would like to know if it's a a male or a female raccoon, if you don't mind, and what, Carlo, is it Carlos? Yes, and whether or not we're having more winter. That's what I need, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Gillespie for the raucous raccoon report. <laughs> Gosh, uh, thank you, Leader. Um, I believe that Carlos is a male, and he did see a shadow, therefore we are having more winter. I do not know the timeline of that. I think it's either six weeks or eight weeks of more winter, but. Representative Gillespie, if you're forecasting more winter, your bill is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for the sponsor? Uh, Representative Cheryl, you recognize? Representative Gillespie. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, well, he lives in Kyerville, so. And uh, next on my list, I do have Chairman Holsey. Chairman Holsey, you recognize. Thank you, um, Mr. Chairman. I, I'm not in the subcommittee, so I, I didn't hear the original presentation of your bill. Uh, is it because you're having problems in Memphis with, with drag racing um, or that kind of issue? Is that why you're trying to up the penalty of this charge? Representative Gillespie. Thank you. Um, so last year, I pa we passed a bill uh, that increased the penalties for drag racing. And as I'm sure you're aware, drag racing is two or more vehicles racing each other. Um, unfortunately, part of that problem is you have individual vehicles that are possibly about to drag race or commit other dangerous acts on roads, but they're just single vehicles. And that's what this is attempting to address. Um, so what it would do is it would leave the existing reckless driving 
as a B misdemeanor, but add an additional resource for law enforcement and prosecutors to have that aggravated statute in case there's something especially heinous. Okay. Chairman Halsey. Uh, my only comment about that is I think Memphis, being in, being in police work, Memphis is down 500 police officers. So I would say on a general night, you, you probably don't have enough law enforcement to enforce this law or the one we passed last year. And, and the only answer I know is, is, is to fix that problem. Because it, it's a big one for you, I understand that. Thank you, sir. Next on my list, I do have Representative Griffey. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Representative, for bringing this, uh, this bill. We, this, I think we've all seen some video in uh, a, a number of locations in Tennessee, uh, folks out there on their four-wheelers and, and other vehicles doing donuts, uh, just, you know, violating the traffic laws mm -hmm. uh, and pretty much flaunting everything. It's just a bill designed to address that situation. Representative Gillespie. Uh, yes, sir, it is. And just to expand on that a little bit, um, there was a situation last year where there was a car doing donuts on uh, the 240 interchange with uh, Walnut Grove next to Baptist East Hospital. And um, all of traffic was stopped because of the donuts. And I do know that there was at least one ambulance um, trying to get to the hospital. So fortunately, uh, my understanding is that patient and that ambulance survived, but um, it could have been very different. Representative Griffey. Mr. Chairman, uh, well, thank you for bringing this. Look, th it's a very serious situation. People think that they've got control and you know they can handle things, but all it takes is a split second for things to get out of control. When you're talking with 1,000-pound vehicles moving at excessive speeds, you do a lot of damage that's gonna kill somebody. So thank you for bringing this. I appreciate the effort. Thank you, Representative Griffey. Next on my list, I have Representative Hardaway. You recognize, sir? Thank you, Chairman. And I, I thought about taking my name off when you were going to give Memphis that raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad to know that you've got a dedicated uh, uh, toxifant. What is it? Uh, what was Phil's Fox. name? Punks of Johnny Phil. Yeah, old Phil we has, get, a, has a cousin at work. <laughs> keep these animals employed. Um, members, this uh, bill, I'm signed on because we do have a serious uh, problem with drag racing. And there was a, 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 a loop that the representative closed because quite often, and I've been called in this myself, sitting on the expressway and cars that block the traffic so these other guys can do the crazy driving. So the cars that block the traffic are part of the actual act, but they are not moving their cars. Okay. So there was uh, some gray area there and, and uh, the sponsor addressed it and I appreciate you identifying it and curing it with this bill. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, seeing no further discussion, we're ready to vote. All those in favor of sending House Bill 1661 as amended to finance, please signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed? <laughs> sir, you head to finance. Thank you. Right. Members, that's the only business before our committee today. Any personal orders or further business? Seeing none, we are adjourned. <laughs>